Pisces, this is Kim here to do your reading that's going to be for your blind spot or a reading that is what you do not see coming. So what you don't expect. What you don't expect to come in that's going to come in for you. So here we go. Pisces, asking that your angels and your spirit guides join us as we gather a few cards from different decks, all asking the question of what is coming in that you don't see coming. What is in your blind spot? This is the Witch's Oracle that I'm using first, Pisces. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing. Let's get right into reading. So, Pisces. So, Pisces. Which you don't see coming. Oh, gosh. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. What are you cooking up that you don't understand that you're cooking up? <laughs> 26, the cauldron, the womb. Which is Oracle? Let's look it up. Let's look it up. What is in your cauldron? What are you cooking up? <laughs> the cauldron is central to old religion. Nice. It has a little information here. Associated particularly with Saraduin. Saraduin. I think it's Saraduin. I hope it is. A Celtic crone goddess of the dark moon. It symbolizes the void, the deep, the source of creation, the womb of life filled with potential. This is like getting the empty room. It's full potential. It is about the sacral chakra. You can see the wheat, so you can see there's a harvest. The color here is orangey, so it's definitely like made to stimulate your um, creativity here. She has a chalice of love in her in her hand. She may be offering that, and she has in her other hand. So the love and the spiritual, emotional is connected with the cup on the left side. The right side is holding her scepter of power with the snake wrapped around it. So, death and rebirth continually manifesting, infinitely manifesting. Wow. <laughs> Pregnancy here is likely the birth of a new situation in your life. Although, some of you all have this fertility time to create, so just be aware of that. It says, as you give, so shall you receive. So, like I said, pregnancy here is just the birth of a new situation in your life. It's um, welcoming you to a state of emptiness, a void, where you can um, figure out what you want to create. It says, seeds of creation are being sown. What you put in is what you get out. It's all in the book of shadows. Maybe they're asking you to journal, too, with this. You know, the Book of Shadows here is telling you that nothing is wasted. It's all experience. That is how the crone would view it, right? You know, everything has a cycle. Even the petals, as they fall off of the rose, are still beautiful, right? They're not whole. They're just fragments. But they're still really beautiful on their own. And there's the light providing um, some enlightenment for you making things visible or revealing things okay so the book of shadows i know that it's just it's like everything that is that was and it, it might be even talking about all of your experience you know all of it like other lifetimes too it may be your soul trying to connect here crown chakra vibration discovery experience and acceptance Gathering experiences is the tone of this for you to explore yourself and explore all possibilities. Another um, message may be asked to, sp to um, speak with, well, I guess you could view it that way, asked to connect with your Akashic records and get some downloads um, from your spirit team on what are other possibilities that were successful in other lives, possibly. It says, be wise and understanding. Whenever you're in the deep night of, or deep dark night, 
Be wise and understanding. Remember, life is changing. You are here to have worthwhile experiences. Wisdom from experience is being integrated into your soul. And as such, there is a connection and from your soul to you. That is what I'm going to add to that. Oh, the horned god. Oh, wow. Mm -mm -mm. 33. Master number 33. The horned god. The life force. This is um, all of the things. Well, it is the life force that goes through all of the things that are created. And the horned god is kind of like having... Um, possibly temptations you know on one side you can have um, materialism or you can have enough so there is something that's going to come in that's going to feel i feel like that that your material realm is going to be plentiful especially if this is what you're doing if you're cooking up something by calling on your past experience Maybe that's what your spirit guides are leading you to. But you are that life force. You are the life force. That is, you are the essence. You are not really um, this anyway. Yeah. Okay. God of nature. A central deity in Wicca. It says... Uh, sorry. It says, pay attention to your desires. That your desires may be out of balance. And that you need to seek more genuine joy. So that it is materialism, like trying to warn you about materialism. Fun and celebration, though, here are indicated. So it's just a warning on not to overindulge. <laughs> that's good. And that's what you don't see coming. So that's good. All right. Spirit animal oracle. Spirit animal oracle. Oh, wow. What you don't see coming. My gosh, some of you all are really fertile. Going to be really fertile. And I'm just telling you, I mean, there's huge growth. You have a life force pulsing through you. And this is good. But, jeez. <laughs> fertile myrtle. Fertile myrtle. That's what I'll call you. Queen of Pentacle. Um, of course, if it's, if it's male, I mean, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Really, rabbit, spirit, now's lucky time. There's something that's going to come into your life in abundance. It's going to help with stability and foundations. 49 up here being 13, and that's a 4. And, and you get this energy of, like, it's fast, like something's about to pick up. So something that you don't see coming is that you're going to have to start to pick up the speed. Something's coming in fast. The Fox Spirit, 27, number 9, could be associated with, like, reaping in a harvest, like, a gathering what you have gotten so far. Being clever, being quick on your feet, hard to catch up with a rabbit or a fox. And it says think on your feet. So be ready and prepared to move into a different direction at all times is the message. And that's what you don't see. Oh, so you don't see that life's about to pick up majorly. Life is about to pick up. All right. Let's see. Let's go into this deck. Then I'm going to pull from the tarot. This is the um, Heavenly Bodies Astrology deck. Lily Ashwell. One more, if we can. All right, fire. I have fire. I have fire, and I've seen rain. Confidence, optimism, passion, and bravery. From the heart, the passion coming from the heart. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, possibly. Uh, Aries. Independence, bravery, and passion. 
And of course, there's that independence and confidence too. Those two going like you will uh, defend oneself for this freedom, for this free will. And then Neptune, dream and transcend. My gosh, that's a good card. What you don't see coming in is you're going to have the influence of Neptune. So you will be able to dream, dream bigger, and then transcend, which means to transcend all limitations. Anything that you feel is a limitation, you will be able to transcend all earthly issues. Because, why? Because your essence isn't actually earthly. Your essence is what transcends everything anyway. All right. Okie dokie, guys, please. Let's pick the mystic, the good tarot. We might clarify if we need to. Fox spirit. I love fox spirit. Think on your feet. And rabbit, rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. Now is lucky time. Nice. And I'm not taking uh, reversals. Okay. But I will tell you what, what both both meanings are. Um, it's just going to be kind of upright right now because of the way this reading is. The messenger of water is like better get going or something completely, oh wow, unexpected. <laughs> something completely unexpected is going to come in. It's going to be up to you to use your discernment on whether something is genuine for you or not. Eight of earth, use your discernment. Especially when it comes to anything that has to do with work, work related getting really good at your craft this might be an unexpected offer coming in regarding work that's kind of what it feels like yeah don't be deceived by something here don't be deceived by something know what your worth is and get ready some uh hidden talents and gifts will be exposed and this is using wise discernment here with the seven of air using wise discernment on whether an offer is for you or not let's pull up from these okay we'll clarify what you don't see come in what's the messenger of water about Something to do with commitment or a commitment. Something to do with a commitment, which you don't see coming. What's the seven of error about? Something being equal. A reciprocal give and a take. Oh, but this is specifically about gifts, spiritual gifts coming in. This is, it's exactly that because, okay, let me put this up here. I have the Queen of Fire here, which is about spiritual gifts. And then this card is a really specific, like, Six of Pentacles, that what you don't see coming in are hidden gifts and talents. That's why you'll have to have wide, wise discernment. Queen of Fire. Queen of Fire. Also, Aries Energy, again. Oh, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. But I'll tell you what, what dropped on the floor. Five of Pentacle. I like that. Hmm. So, an issue with a commitment or a Taurus, possibly regarding somebody leaving. That might be something unexpected. Somebody leaving. Oh, I don't know. All right. What else? Eight, eight, not much communication, but pretty soon you will have, um, you'll have the King of Pentacle energy, which is like a focused on the material realm, sharing gifts and things like that. Deep message, goodness, what you don't expect. 
So think on your feet. There's something that you will have to think on your feet. Remember there are spiritual gifts coming in. Make sure your lines of communication are nice and open. Let's get um, regarding relationships or commitments. We might, might want to focus on the communication aspect of it. And living out your dreams, there's a need to go forward if we haven't moved forward to live out our dreams. 33, Angel of Tranquility. Angel of Tranquility. <laughs> Angel of Dreams. Living out your dreams. Your dream job. Dream work. <laughs> and your Angel of Challenges. Angel of Challenges. All right, that's what you don't see coming. Thanks so much for joining me, Pisces. There's all your cards. Sorry about that. Sending you love and light.